Welcome to Disrupt Ed TV, where every little idea can make a big difference in your classroom or in your school. And our guests today are Chris Russell and Enrique Parada. And uh, they have a great idea. I mean, really disruptive, terrific idea, Joe. And, and it's, it's great to be on the ground floor of what I think could be a huge social network for teachers. Am I getting that right? Absolutely. Talk to me about that. So Project 77 is a teacher collaboration platform. And we connect peers with each other based off of their skill sets, their interests, and you know their years of experience in teaching. Mm -hmm. And we really like to get unique information so that people can collaborate in an on-demand learning community. And so, you know, I was an eighth grade science teacher and I remember feeling so isolated, you know, at a Title I school, like who were these other teachers, you know, teaching eighth grade science and doing inquiry-based practices? And I couldn't even find these people. And I know I'm not the first person to do this type of a role mm -hmm. before. So that's really where the, the idea came from is that if we could actively connect educators with each other to drive development, mm -hmm. like we could really change the game in terms of support, which is often episodic or, you know, not relevant to what I currently need in the classroom. Right, right. Which, is, which is exciting to me because I have, I have a presence on LinkedIn. I've had a presence in the past on Facebook. And in, in those networks, you create a group and then try to get people to join it. And what you guys do differently, though, is you connect people into groups based on information that you pull out of their profiles. That's exactly yeah. right. We're trying to take the discovery element you know, out of it um, where we, we really make these matches that are curated and specific to your needs because you don't need to spend hours finding people when we can find them for you. There's so many passionate educators out there. It's really really great ideas. How did you guys connect? So, oh, Enrique, you want to yeah, share so, that with the in the mic? <laughs> so, yeah, pr prior, prior to uh, joining school, so Chris and I both are both uh, students at Columbia Business School right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. um, we actually connected at a pre-MBA finance fellowship. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, which is totally different from education. Right. Sure. <laughs> but uh, it, was upon, it was upon meeting each other at that conference that, you know, we connected with each other and figured out what we really want to take out from business mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. And it was entrepreneurship and education. Well, and that's so, really it. I and mean, yeah. when you think about it, this is an entrepreneurial take on a, a, a large gap, right. which is that social networks don't deliver mm -hmm. the kind of connectivity and interaction that need to be delivered, especially in a... In a, in, a, in a climate like education. Where, right, exactly. Right. So, so it's really about getting best practices out of the heads of one teacher and into the head of another teacher who can then use it. Exactly right. We know that on the ground level, teachers drive the development, the education. I can yeah. name to you, my best development came from mentor teachers. It came mm -hmm. from others in the field that I found, that I met, who you know, could answer my questions, who we could engage with and chat with actively. Mm -hmm. And they weren't always at my school. They, they were all over the place. Mm -hmm. I was... Uh, talking to teachers and you know, I was fortunate to have a network and even that was difficult uh, going from my certification program But there were teachers from everywhere who could really help me find these practices that were going to be helpful in the classroom Troubleshoot different issues, but it was that active engagement It wasn't that just one-off development or etc workshop that I went to that was most helpful to my practice mm. I said and, and I thought to myself like how come how can we do this better? Why does this have to feel so difficult to, to mm -hmm. do, you know, it took me, yeah. you know, a few years to really develop that network that I wanted to develop. And I still was actively adding to it. And you were it. still doing it, yeah. doing that. And I was somebody who was looking for it and it was difficult for me. Uh -huh. There are people who want that, but you know, because of time constraints, because of whatever's on them, it's so hard to do that discovery on your own. Yeah, well, so, yeah. so walk us through this. If I'm a teacher and I teach sixth grade and I teach STEM and, um, and maybe I teach special education, You'll connect me with other teachers who have similar characteristics automatically. I won't have to worry about making that connection myself. Exactly. With traditional platforms, you might know grade level or subject or something like that. We want to get into the nitty gritty. We want to know, like, what type of systems are you using in a classroom? Behavior mm -hmm. management systems. What is your school climate like? Are you a Title I school, so you're dealing with predominantly low-income students and want to talk to other teachers in that situation as well and mm -hmm. get those resources? We really want to dive deeper and get these groups curated so you're knowing that you're talking to the right people oh, that's great and you want to make and you want to make the profile something that's dynamic and actively updated all the time exactly. not something I just do once and forget yeah, so I keep good. adding I can add or modify my interests and it'll automatically reconnect me to, with different teachers based on that exactly right, right. And and so, yeah. like so we would we understand that you know at the early stages of project 77 mm -hmm. 
the matching algorithm might not be the best, but by getting more of these teachers in, we're going to keep refining it to make sure that these matches are going to be the best possible matches for every teacher. And the network's unlimited. And it's a yes, network. the network it's ultimately is yeah. unlimited. Yeah. Now, right, right now, how many teachers do you have on your platform? Around 100. Yeah. yeah of like okay, so, 100, 100, 100, so now 100. you've been developing this for two and a half years. Yep. So it's, it's, uh, it's reaching a level of maturity where you can start to grow the community. And I know that's one of the reasons why you wanted to come on today. Exactly. Yeah. Like we have been testing out and actively, you know, refining this to make sure it's something that teachers enjoy using. And mm -hmm. we know that we're continuously improving that. And that's okay. the thing. We're not trying to be a static company. It's just here's a one-off product. It's like mm -hmm. we want to make sure that this is something great for teachers. So we're at a level now where we want to get a closed beta going, get a scale of teachers, you know, mm -hmm. a few thousand would be ideal, mm -hmm. and really start driving this community uh, together. And we know that as we get more members on the community, it just only gets stronger. The, the, the support gets better, the matches get better, and everything kind of improves. You just learn from that. That's, exactly. how, that's, right. how, that's how you make something yeah. better. And, exactly. Uh, so, so what you want from the people that are watching our program is an email sent to you, and you'll, you'll give them the email address to send to, yep. uh, applying basically for an account on your system, and that you can fulfill that requirement, and then after that, they're part of the network. Right. Exactly okay. right. We're at a, we ha it's invite only, so we have to send you an invitation and a closed beta system. So mm -hmm. we want um, our uh, people who are passionate about this problem, who want to connect with other passionate educators who are already signed up on the platform, you know, to reach out to us, we will send you a, a, a beta link to get signed up and you can fill out your profile, you know, um, mm -hmm. starting in January. Okay, that's great. Right now. Starting yeah. now, basically. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. what you're ready exactly. to roll this thing out. Yeah. I mean, this is, the, yes. uh, our program is beginning of January 2018, so you're yes. looking to build on, uh, exactly. essentially exactly build right. on that. Yeah. Um, great. In terms of, you know, timeline, we're looking to go live with the close of the beta by end of January, mid to end January. Terrific. So, so okay. we're just collecting. You can sign up right now and uh, going live. So this is an early adopter, uh, yes. ground floor opportunity great. for teachers that would like to be part of what could ultimately be a very large social network of right. uh, potentially hundreds of thousands right. or even millions of teachers yeah. Yeah. communicating with each other. And you're also going to provide content, uh, curated content based on people's interests that automatically go to their news feeds. Ex exactly right. Because you're sharing with us information that you normally never have on my LinkedIn right. account, which is more like a resume mm -hmm. or something of that nature where you're like, these are the unique needs that I have or that my students have. For example, if I'm an uh, ELL educator, I can tell people that I'm teaching predominantly Haitian Creole students, for example. Mm -hmm. And I can now connect resources. What are those best, you know, Haitian Creole resources out there or other teachers who have similar situations? Right. Connect you with them and have a news feed that drives those resources towards that drives you. That reason, that and means. that's something that is developed right now. It's in its nascent stages, but we want to, uh, if we, as we get more people on the platform, we can actually improve that element of the How that works. That's yeah. great. Yeah. That's exciting. And we, we need to take, take a, a break. break. When okay. we come back, though, after this break, we'll talk more about specifically how somebody joins the network, makes mm -hmm. use of it, and uh, we'll kind of walk them through that process. And we'll be right back with more Disrupted TV after this break. Stick around. Thank you. They come to Brookdale with a passion for healthcare, cybersecurity, fashion merchandising. They graduate and transfer to universities like Georgetown, NJIT, and the Fashion Institute of Technology. They begin their careers as registered nurses, security engineers, and fashion designers. This is what success looks like. And here is where it all starts. This is Brookdale, college redefined, success reimagined. Take your next step at brookdalecc.edu. Uh, welcome Here. back to Disrupt Ed TV. My name is Al Sini. I'm Joe Asimendi. Such a pleasure to work Always with you. Happy New Year, Joe. Happy and, New Year. Uh, and we're here with Chris Russell and Enrique Parada, and we're talking about something that they're referring to now as Project 77. And to try to couch it in terms of what of the disruptive idea that you've created, if, if I want to get an idea from another teacher who has a similar interest to me, today I've got conferences I can go to or maybe accidental meetings that I can have with people, but, but it's very hit or miss, and it's not likely. What you're really looking to do is increase the probability that two teachers who can help each other can actually find each other. Mm -hmm. And not because they're physically near each other, they could be on opposite sides of the country and it would still work, or even in different parts of the world. Exactly. Um, <coughs> you know, when I was a teacher, I and every teacher can relate to this, mm -hmm. uh, 
Development in Sephora always feels very episodic. It's this one-off workshop, this one-off mm -hmm. conference, and maybe I'll meet some people, maybe I'll get one cool technique or resources, but a lot of the research, and we work a lot with Columbia's Teachers College, shows that this is really not effective. Mm -hmm. You need to continuously develop each other like every single day. And we said, what is that everyday thing or app that can I can use to talk with others, connect with others, that's relevant to me, get the resources I need? And so that's where we wanted to target because the current state is just so fragmented. Mm -hmm. And um, en Enrique is gonna laugh at this, like a lot of our inspiration was from the dating apps. Mm -hmm. You know, in the current state, uh, we have, a, I'm currently married, but uh, mm -hmm. my, my, a lot of my friends are still using the dating apps. And I was so curious, like looking at all of these, you know, the current state for them was often, you go to, you know, out to the bars or you meet sure. people at singles right. night. And that was horrible. Mm -hmm. You don't, you know, you, there's loud, there's a lot of people, and it's the same like a teacher's conference. You, right. you never really make a genuine connection. But what if you have technology do that for you? On the back end, make those connections, that discovery, find somebody who's curated for you. But instead of dating, we do it for something a little bit more. It's match.com and based on common interests. <laughs> yeah. Educational really exactly. dating exactly. Exactly. Educational dating site. Educational dating site. Educational. I mean, that, <laughs> it's, it is. it's so logical <laughs> and it makes so much sense. And, and, and because it is such a hit or miss right. proposition for people to connect with each other in the real world, mm -hmm. uh, what you're really doing is creating a kind of a virtual guide mm -hmm. through uh, the entire community of teachers to yeah. connect people with each other. Right. Uh, so that they don't have to do that. Right. And, and exactly right. like ma ma many of the teachers that we've interviewed, uh -huh. you know, have mentioned current solutions that they're using today: Facebook, right. Twitter, sure. Better Lesson, uh, Pinterest. Mm -hmm. um, but most of these solutions suffer from two major pitfalls, right? One is they're either not curated, mm -hmm. so you don't know who you're talking to on the other side. Right, exactly. Right. And two is there's no focus on education. Right. Yeah. No, they're on everything. I could go that's on Twitter right. and they right. could be talking about something else besides education. That's, right. so that's what we're that's trying right. to do. Create sure. a safe space yeah. for educators right. to talk about education. Well, that's really key. And if you do this right, then the homepage, it's, it, ultimately it's not going to be called Project 77. No, we're, not, not. we're not using any names. <laughs> you're, working on, names <laughs> you're working on that. But when, when, this becomes a, when this becomes a reality in the not too distant future, Future, that will be right. the logical homepage for a teacher. It's right. where they start their day, where they meet new, meet new people that might be able to help them with. Ex exactly right. It's that one stop shop that I know that, you know, if I, I wanted, when I was right. an eighth grade science teacher, I wanted to know what were those three new inquiry based practices I'm going to, you know, talk to after school these three teachers who I know who are, you know, killing it in the classroom, doing a mm -hmm. great job. Sure. Uh -huh. And they're going to, you know, help me critique what I was doing in that day's lesson. I want. You know, I wanted that as a teacher. I felt I just I never got that with the group of peers I currently had. Yeah, that's exciting. And I mean, yeah. it resonates with us because our job on Disrupt Ed TV is exactly that. To take great ideas from the mind of one teacher and move them into the minds of other teachers who exactly. can take advantage right. of it. And right. what you're going to do is create a kind of a, a culture of continuous connection mm -hmm. uh, where people can just stay connected with each other and share these ideas with right. each other. What exactly. kind of response are you getting to the people from the people that are already participating in this? Very generally positive. positive. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think we've gotten any pushback. Um, there's obviously been feedback on how a feature could be better or you know yeah, how, how the mechanics something doing. looks. Yeah, but uh -huh. in terms of the goal and the vision of the product itself, mm -hmm. we've gotten very good feedback. Exactly uh -huh. right. I think the pain point just resonates so much with teachers. Sure. It's like I don't want to be on an island like yeah, this. Sure. I want to uh, see who are the best in the profession. Teachers are a bunch of professionals who drive the, the, the craft as it keeps going, but we need to get, as you're saying, those mm. best practices out of the heads right. of teachers and making them explicit across, shareable across districts, across states, everywhere. Mm. And uh, it needs to be driven by teachers. It can't be like, you know, top down. It's gotta be a bottom-up No, it's gotta up be approach. a bottom-up thing. Yeah. I mean, that's, um, yeah, that's, that's how everything really has to work. Exactly. That all the great ideas are right where the students are, right where the learners are. Exactly. And you want right. to get them where, right where they live because that's where you can really measure and quantify the effect of it. Right, exactly. And so, Chris uh, touched up on this. So, mm -hmm. like, the content on the platform is all teacher driven. Right. Mm -hmm. So, this is not randomly generated by a robot mm -hmm. or anything else. Right. These are real life teachers it's in teacher classrooms content. sharing content. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. exciting. That really is exciting. It's specifically for teachers and educators. Yeah. Exactly. That's yeah. the beauty that's of it. it because you know when you're going to you're going to find out what you those ideas you want to exchange. 
Exactly. Right. Exactly. Okay, yeah, mechanically, right. a little bit. It's free. It's free. Yes. Okay, I mean, yes. let's get that out right yeah. now. It's a teacher can join for free, and your plan is to, for it always to be free to teachers. Yes. Exactly right. Okay. And it's really, you know, we're just so excited for teachers to be able to, you know, the instant that they log on, be able to chat with other teachers mm -hmm. immediately. You don't get that right now. It's either this asynchronous communication on a blog, which mm -hmm. maybe no one would respond to, mm -hmm. or it's uh, I look up a lesson plan on Google, and it's just like, well, can I talk to somebody about, like, how did you execute this lesson plan? Mm -hmm. So for us, it's like talking to those people, getting them, like, getting their insights, like, in, in not just the resource itself is so important to making this work, and yeah. that's through this right. uh, live chat feature yeah, that we have. That's key. And the early adopter thing, just to go back to that. Yeah. Uh, any Anybody who joins now can expect to have to deal with things. I mean, there are issues that are going to come up. I mean, that's just sort of the way it works, yeah. but they're on yes. the ground floor of something that could be huge someday. Right. Like, you, any early adopter is our champion, right. and they believe in this vision and that this can really fundamentally change the game in education and how support is done. Yeah. And there are going to be growing pains. We have to be transparent. I want to be transparent. I valued that when mm -hmm. I was a teacher. Mm -hmm. There will be growing pains. But, you know, what we, we are so passionate about this issue. Uh, and Enrique and I have committed full time to this. We're this is not, important. I mean, when, when you yeah. graduate, yeah, exactly. it's not done. This no, is your homework exactly. assignment. You're exactly. going to keep doing this. Exactly this is... right. We, um, we were so passionate about it. The university, uh, I don't know if we mentioned, but uh, gave us a grant to continue. You didn't mention okay. it. That's great. You so, got support from Columbia. You were one of 10 programs, I think you mentioned. Uh, yes, yeah. So uh, we were just accepted into the greenhouse program at Columbia, which I believe is of uh, 100 uh, startups at Columbia mm -hmm. who applied, we were uh, one of 12. Who wow. were accepted into the program mm -hmm. um, uh, after the multiple rounds of interviews and pitching and things sure. of that nature. So, yeah, so this isn't excited. a pet project for us. Like, <laughs> we plan to pursue this. This is, full this time is what you, this is your vocation for you guys. Yes, yes exactly. Oh, yeah, no, this is that's yeah. very exciting. Now, right. we need to take another break. We'll come we back in a third back. segment, give everybody step by step on how they can become a part of this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, but uh, thanks, guys. Um, we'll welcome you all back to Disrupted TV after this break. Our culture is what we believe in and our brand is what we do in our work. When our brand and our culture are in alignment with each other, we become more than just good. We become excellent. Think of this alignment as a mix of flavors in our water cooler. When we gather around and drink it ourselves, we're savoring our culture. When we serve it to our friends and neighbors, we're expressing our brand. So, what's in your water cooler? For groups of all kinds and sizes, our Brand and Culture Alignment Toolkit will provide you with a unique water cooler recipe that expresses and makes you the very best at what you do. It all starts with a simple, affordable 20-minute online survey. Completely confidential, you can take it whenever suits your schedule. Within two days, you'll receive a BCAT report that expresses your team's signature brand and culture in plain English and include simple exercises that will help align your team's leaders, stakeholders, and members. Welcome back to Disrupted TV. My name is Al Sini. I'm still Joe Asimini. That's so terrific. <laughs> uh, but more important than either of us are these two guys, uh, Enrique uh, Parada and Chris Russell, who are telling us today about Project 77 which is a network that you can join. You can ask, ask for one of these invitations from, uh, from these guys. They're going to explain that now. Uh, if I'm a teacher and I want to become part of Project 77, how much time do I have to devote to this? So it's literally it, right now you can sign up and you do that by emailing us, which we'll share at the end, mm -hmm. um, and we'll send you a closed beta key. When you receive that key, you're going to be given a basically like a, a survey and you're going to put, start your profile information. You're going to, you know, enter your name, uh, give us that information, but also your interests, your experience, you know, what are your, your unique needs? And once you fill out that profile form, you can adjust it at any time. It's mm -hmm. a dynamic, it's a learning system. And you'll be signed up on the program. We intend to go live at the end of January. That okay. is our goal to hit uh, the go live by the end of January. Mm -hmm. But once you're in our system, we can start putting you in our system so that we can make these matches and it'll be dynamic uh, starting in January. And one no, thing I want to add is that the profile that the teachers have to fill out, mm -hmm. it's, it's not something that's too burdensome. It should take 
on average five to seven minutes. All right, okay. Yeah. So, so to join, maybe 10 or 15 minutes. And then on a daily basis, every now and then, if I see a bug, maybe I fire off an email to you and let you know about exactly. it. Exactly. I mean, those are the responsibilities of any early adult. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And this, you know, Chris touched up on this earlier. We're, we're, we're looking for those early advocates, but right. we, we also see these early advocates as partners, right? Sure. If there are bugs in the platform, we love them to tell us what, what bugs we could fix, you know, what features to improve oh, upon, yeah. uh -huh. um, just to make their experience better. Um, so, well, you know, we, we talk to teachers all the time, yeah. and uh, if there's anything that identifies, a, a really good teacher is mostly noted for their curiosity, mm -hmm. and uh, which means you couldn't pick a better beta group to yeah. work with. Uh, you, an, a, an inspired teacher is just a, a perfect, I think, a perfect candidate for projects. And worldwide, too. You could have a math teacher in Malaysia, talk to a math teacher in um, Hawaii to New York, London. That, that's that's yeah, beauty. No borders. Yeah, on no this. borders. Yeah. On so, this. right. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, a, that's a large vision. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's exciting. think I mean, bigger, go home. home. Yeah. Exactly. These, yeah. these, these visions sometimes have a way of driving right. themselves, yeah. which yeah, is exactly. really kind of exciting. Yeah. So, exactly. where do you see all this going? I mean, that's uh, you know that that's a good point at which maybe to mm -hmm. discuss that. No, the absolutely. Then. Uh love to get into that. Just one quick note. Just. Anything that they share on the platform or any profile information oh, okay. is confidential. It, is confidential. Yeah. Like right. You okay. choose right. what you want to share. Uh, the information is used to match you on the back end, but no people... No other people can see that unless you opt into that's, that. that. That's, that's so I just want to point. emphasize that as a no, key, that's great. key that, point. No, that's great. That's a really um, good point. And then building out, which is all relevant to, to scale, mm -hmm. we really see this as changing the game, you know, uh, first in the U.S., you know, right. we are very fragmented in terms of states, in terms of districts, charters, non-charters, district, public, private schools, and all of us together really can drive this education system into a better place for all students. And we know this is the vision that all teachers have. Why you become a teacher? Mm -hmm. right. And we want to be that person, that, that that platform that filters, that facilitates these connections, mm -hmm. and in a very meaningful way. And if we can do that, you know, in the U.S. and globally, this really changes mm -hmm. the game by making this peer-to-peer -peer support the main driver of how people learn and how people really up the standards in, in education. Well, that's exciting, and, and so which means if, if in the in the final state of this system. When I log on, I'll be introduced to new people every day, potentially, who yeah. have interests that are similar to mine. Exactly. Uh, right. And uh, those introductions could lead to the kinds of ideas that it can take to make a difference in my classroom. That's exactly, exactly right. Yeah, you know, we, in the long term, we see it evolving into, you know, a social networking tool, right. a professional development platform, mm -hmm. um, you know, a learning management system. Like, there are just multiple avenues this could go. Yeah, this yeah, could lead right. in a whole bunch of different directions. After right, that. exactly. That's really a but worldwide inter educational synergism. I mean, it really is. It's fantastic. Well, right. the, uh, all around specific yeah. areas, uh, the subject areas that, that matter to teachers. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That is, uh, now, how many developers do you have working mm -hmm. on this? How big a team do you have? So we have a lead engineer who is also a former teacher. He's uh, mm -hmm. currently getting his PhD at University mm -hmm. of Pittsburgh in computer science. Mm -hmm. um, and he's completely passionate about the idea as someone who he's experienced excited. himself. He was he's excited. got the use cases in his head. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, he was, he's actually important. one of my best friends when mm -hmm. I was a teacher. So uh, like we had connected good. more that uh, manual way that was uh, that we're trying to correct now. Mm -hmm. But um, he's our lead developer. We have a few independent developers who are helping us as well uh, mm -hmm. on the team. Those are kind of more not part of the main team, but like help us with the development things. Mm -hmm. um, currently, it's a web platform. So mm -hmm. on your computer, we are working on an app version. So uh, we okay. anticipate a mobile version. Mobile yeah. version. Mm -hmm. um, we do anticipate that the use case for teachers is, hey, I'm in my class, or I'm on my off period. I want to, you know, log in, see resources, be able to talk and share with other people. But mm -hmm. also maybe I'm, you know, in a passing period or something of that nature. And there's something I can quickly check or anything on my phone, and that's where we see the mobile use case as oh, well. Okay, yeah. great. And this goes back to the topic of accessibility. Right. Um, mm -hmm. A teacher could spend as little as one minute on the platform, but a teacher could spend as much as You can spend as much time on it as yeah. you want, yeah. but, but there's no uh, burden of time relative yeah. to this. I mean, I can yeah. join and just report a bug every now and then and right. try it out. And, yeah. Uh, and use it whenever I want to. I don't have to. It's not a job. No. Yeah, no. And that's the, no, that, no, because teachers are busy, not. and you, and, and you right. want to make sure that... Uh, that like teachers are already strapped for time, right? right? Sure. There's social and geographic time constraints that teachers face. Yeah. So whatever you this is, has to be something that doesn't intrude on their day as That's a exactly right. Exactly. That's really kind of key. And uh, 
I mean, right now, I guess you curate that content that you're doing that manually, but eventually you're going to computerize more it. and more of the uh, of the back end of the system. So, you know, uh, this is where Enrique's background <coughs> comes in very relevant. He's a statistician by trade. Okay. How would you describe yourself? Yeah. <laughs> statistician. By yeah. Trade. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm a Renaissance man. I'm right. I'm writing that down. Yeah. Oh, I know. I'm um, writing that down. So, you know, we're actually going to. You know, Working on models that create um, mm -hmm. uh, something that's going to you know automate all this, and mm -hmm. we're doing some manual matching right now, but we're hoping to roll that out pretty as, soon, pretty yeah. soon as possible. It, okay. The thing is, like, we need a lot of data in order to automate something. Well, you, you, sure. need, you need people, right? exactly. so you need to build the community before the right. system can learn from the community. That's exactly right. Exactly. That's really it. So that's why this is. It's an important opportunity for everybody who's watching Disrupted TV, Joe, mm -hmm. because it's a chance for them to participate in something on the ground floor that could be very, very large in a very short period of time as, yeah. it, as it catches on. Yeah. I mean, every teacher we've ever talked to has been hungry for ideas that they can use in their classrooms. And uh, this is a way to get those ideas from anywhere in the world, theoretically. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. so we're at that point in our program where you get to talk right into your camera and tell everybody how they can join <laughs> Project 77. Mm -hmm. right. Enrique so, and Chris yeah. are on. I'm Enrique <laughs> Parada. And, you know, as Chris mentioned earlier, we are currently testing this closed uh, test. Uh, where we want to get early advocates, early partners on this platform who will help us iterate on this platform. Um, so if you'd like to sign up for this closed test, please email me, uh, eparada18 at gsb.columbia.edu, or Chris Russell, uh, crussell18 at gsb.columbia.edu. Happy to have anyone on and happy for this partnership as that happen. Absolutely. Well, mm -hmm. Enrique and Chris, it was a pleasure having you both on uh, you, Disrupted TV today. And Thank what you a great much. idea. Thank yeah. you. Pleasure meeting you. And uh, we hope that uh, you, many of you, some of you, at least many of you, will join uh, Project 77. Send your emails in, apply, become a member. And we're all interested to see where this community goes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks very much for joining us today on Disrupted TV. My yeah. name is Al Sini. I'm Joe Osmendi. And uh, we'll see you again on a future episode. Thank, Thank you. you.